I'm going to demonstrate how to do a swatch as if you're working in the round when you actually aren't. So I've cast on and I'm finishing up my first row. And then instead of turning the work as I normally would to work flat, I'm going to slide it to the far end of my needle. I'm using double pointed needles and you can do this with a circular, but the double points are a little faster. Now I'm going to knit again, but the yarn's on the wrong side of the work. So I need to bring it around in a big loop. What I do is I anchor that loop with my hand that I'm not holding the yarn and tensioning it. So I'll do this continental and I'll switch to American. Oh, and the other thing you can do is work the first two stitches through the back of the loop, which twists them and helps keep the looseness of the edges from getting too intense. It'll still be a, loose, a little bit loose and annoying, but it's not too bad this way. And then again, at the end, I'm going to knit through the back loop on my final two stitches. You can see it's getting loose, it's kind of pulling on this loop, that's fine. I'm just going to tug that loop, don't turn it, slide it to the other end. I'll do this one American style, so again, a big loop, loop leave it bigger than you think you need. I'm going to anchor that just by holding it in my left hand, because now I'm going to use my right hand to move my yarn. So, into the back, wrap your yarn. So I usually will add four stitches, so I can have two knit through the back stitches on each side, and then get into my pattern and then I'll go back to my knitting normally. Here I'm just doing stockinette stitch, but you can do this with any stitch pattern. And the benefit is that if you happen to purl looser or tighter than you knit, this will give you a really accurate gauge going in the round. And I'm gonna go through the back. So anytime that I'm gonna work my actual project in the round, I like to make my swatch sort of fake in the round like this so that I get a um, a more accurate gauge and no surprises.